Hey guys, it is Shadow Snipe here, and today, yes, we're doing a little bit more theater, but I have been coming to like it for these new DLC 3 maps. Now, yes, I have been gone, and it came out while I was uh, trying to figure out what the heck was going wrong with my setup and how I make videos. So, but now I'm back. We are back on track. And today, guys, we got an amazing gameplay. We are playing Empire or the remake. Uh, this is the remade version from Back Ups 2. So, and it, it plays out just the same as Raid does on Black Ops 2. It's nice, fast pace. You still have those corners and long edges. They all they've done is basically made a few texture changes, and the only thing that I can say that is difference different is that when you're in that window that I was just looking at, you can uh, get a little bit spotted a little bit easy because of the uh, jumping capabilities in Black Ops 3. But as I do it. Uh, get an amazing gameplay. I have my Locust, and I and I didn't want to just do a normal stacking gameplay, so I put the ELO site on there just for your uh, funsies. Just you know funsies. <laughs> and you, and you guys have seen a bunch of sniper gameplay, so how about not one with the ELO site since it is used very often on snipers. And I got the beautiful gold camo on there. I'm trying to get diamond for all snipers, but that's taking a while. So just just hang in there. We 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 will do is uh, diamond camo gameplays eventually. Hopefully before Black Ops 3 is done. Okay, so I touched on this a little bit, but the design of the map not changed much from Raid. If you have played. Raid on Black Ops 2, it pretty much plays the same way, besides if you're looking out a window, people can jump up and get you. We are playing Uplink on this, so I've always liked Raid as an objective map, and it plays wonderfully for a lot of the objectives. I did have a little bit of trouble with Team Deathmatch on this map, but overall, it is a great map design for Black Ops 3. So, uh, next, what I want to talk about is how does it play? It, as I've said for the design and other parts, I'm probably repeating myself, but the, it plays very, very well. It plays a lot like Raid. If you really like Raid, you should really enjoy this. I don't think they have done anything with the spawns, or really, I don't think they've moved anything. So, if you liked Raid, played Raid, thumbs up. If you didn't write, like Raid, well, yeah, have fun. It's still the same Raid that we all know. And if you're new to the game, you go play Raid, okay? You better go play Raid, because... I don't know how to describe it otherwise. Uh, it plays pretty fast with objective games. It, some, it plays pretty fast with uh, team deathmatch games also, but I'm not a big team deathmatch player, so don't quote me on that. So, now, enough talk of this map. I'm gonna let you guys join the gameplay and I'm gonna talk about something else. So, now the new councils are coming out already. Now, the Xbox, for, for Microsoft, this was pretty, pretty predictable since a lot of the Microsoft Xbox users have said that the Xbox One sucks and they actually stopped updating the Xbox One about eight months ago, and they've been working on the Xbox One S, or the Xbox One Scorpion. Now guys, both of these, now both the Xbox One Scorpion and the PS4 Neo do come with virtual reality compatibility. 
The only difference is, is that the PS4 Neo has virtual reality compatibility, VR compatibility with only a few VR devices. But, now, if we go uh, to the Xbox One S, or the Xbox One Scorpion, they have claimed that the VR compatibility will be work with almost all virtual reality hardware. Which I think is much better since they really, really have probably stepped it up from the Xbox One S. They want this to be the console of their line. And adding to that, they also make the Xbox One S a little bit more appealing to you guys is that the Xbox One S has a literally just released graphics card for the Xbox One S. So the graphics card is, I believe, one or two generations better than the PS4 Neo. So if you really, really like high quality graphics, I recommend going for the Xbox One S since they have that brand, basically it's still brand new off, off the shelf line for graphics. I don't have the console yet, but I've done a lot of research, if you, just if you're wondering. So tap on the PS4 Neo. PS4 Neo. Guys, I, it, it's pretty good. Uh, it's just like your PS4. It, Basically, it has a little bit better stuff. It still has a 1 terabyte to 500 gigabyte, where the Xbox One S now has a 500, 1 terabyte, and 2 terabyte console, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, the PS4 hasn't really changed besides the uh, VR compatibility and a little bit better updates to the hardware, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend going get the PS4 Neo, but please do if you're a PlayStation fan, I, I am only trying to convince the people that are in between, kind of like I am, I have a PS4 and a Xbox One right now, but if you're going for the next gen console, I would go for the Xbox One S. If you haven't caught that drift already, guys. So, guys, have a wonderful day. And if you like this video, please subscribe. And then, and then you'll be a shadow. Like, how, how wonderful is that? You, you join the shadow community and the shadow army. So. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. If you do enjoy the video, leave a like. This is Shadow Snipe. Signing out. Satellite uploaded. Satellite drone reset. We have the satellite drone. Friendly raid in your AO. Keep satellite uploaded. Satellite drone reset. They have the satellite. Friendly counter UAV inbound. Hostiles have remote uplink. Get ahead. Maintain your momentum. UAV inbound. We have the satellite. We have satellite uplink. Satellite drone reset. Friendly.
Bradley has the satellite drone. Smoke, check! Out of time. Don't hold back. <laughs> 